For our next story, we have a case of an Anchorage, Alaska man who has been charged with first-degree murder. Now, you might want to know how evidence came about this man to implicate this man in the crime. Well, don't worry. It is perhaps one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen in my life. So let's read the story and see how this man has become implicated. Police aren't answering questions about how the 48-year-old South African immigrant and a 30-year-old Anchorage woman, originally from Southwest Alaska Village, met in an encounter that investigators say ended with her murder. But details are beginning to emerge about the lives of Brian Stephen Smith, the murderer, and Kathleen Joe Henry, the murderer E, before police said Smith brutally beat, choked, and killed her in the Anchorage hotel room in early September and then dumped her body. Smith is charged with first-degree murder. Here's the stupid part. He was arrested after someone found a small memory card on the ground in September 30th near a Kara store at Gamble Street. The card, which was labeled Homicide at Midtown Marriott, contained 39 images and 12 videos taken from September the 4th to September the 6th, all documenting the horrifying scene at a local hotel. Well, you know, that's a pretty big clue. When you label the memory card Homicide, at Midtown Marriott. Yeah, that's special. The images show a naked woman, later, later identified as Henry, being beaten and strangled in a hotel room, presumably the Marriott, charges say. She tried to fight back. Other footage showed a man's detective later identified as Smith, yelling her to die and laughing, according to the charges. So there's several operative, operative lessons I think we can all learn on best practices on, you know, committing murder. First, don't film it. Second of all, if you're going to film it, don't do it on a card labeled Homicide at Midtown Marriott. And third, if you do that, don't lose the card. Yeah. Images also show a body covering a white sheet moved through the parking lot to a truck, the charges say. Police identified Henry on Tuesday as the woman whose remains were found near the Stewart Highway section on Anchorage. Smith was arrested Tuesday as he returned to Anchorage by plane from an unknown destination. He's being held in jail on $750,000 in bond. An Anchorage spokeswoman said the agency is not participating in any further interviews. There's no additional information. Well, I don't know what additional information we need. We have a murder on a videotape on a card labeled Murder at Marriott. So thanks for all that super information. That's special. Detectives, this, this is where it gets even more special. Detectives recognize Smith from the graphic videos because he's involved in a separate ongoing investigation. So he was already known to the police. They recognized him by sight. Outstanding. Smith lived with his wife and their cat on a quiet, woodsy cul-de-sac. Smith has no apparent criminal history in Alaska. Well, he does now. His wife did not respond to comments. She told them that she was shocked by charges. I would be pretty shocked too. The whole thing seems so horrific and bizarre, really brutal. Yeah, I, I think so. Smith had previously worked as an engineer, as a material tester and inspector. It's not clear what job he had recently. He told the judge's arraignment that he was about $2,000 in savings. On his Facebook profile, he described himself as self-employed and grew up in Queenstown, Ed Eastern Cape. Here, the military, according to South Africa reporter. He left South Africa in 2013. A relative confirmed that Henry, the victim, grew up in Eek, a UKIP village of about 300 people. The community members say the family is grieving the death and declined to comment, and the next bail hearing is on October the 21st. So that is the story of the Anchorage man, who we're all very surprised is not actually Florida man, because Anchorage man videotaped the murder, took photographs of it, labeled the smart card murder at the Marriott, and then lost the card. It was found by someone who turned it into the police, and the police recognized him by sight because of prior investigations. So good luck with that. Uh, I assume you're going to jail forever and or are getting the death penalty. So good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, it's it's levels of stupid that are hard to fully contemplate, right? Yeah. yeah.